Senators looking to increase cybersecurity in the state, especially through the social media app TikTok. It is an online video sharing platform owned by Chinese parent company ByteDance. In December, Governor Kemp announced he would ban TikTok on all state-owned phones and devices. Now Republican senators are looking to extend that ban to state classrooms as well. Megan Western talked to some TikTok users about their feelings on the app security. Like singing is my passion. I really love singing. Like I sing all day. So, you know, why not use that gift God gave me? Michael Clark says he shares it with his 112,000 followers on TikTok. If you ain't on TikTok, man, I think you should really get into it. You know, it's a it's a good fun app to be on and, you know, good content on there. It allows him and the app's 1 billion other monthly users to interact from across the world. It's for entertainment when I get done with school or work to kind of calm down and get relaxed. Others use it for creativity. I do crochet. Uh, I do a lot of gifts for people, like for friends and stuff. No matter how you use the app, Georgia senators feel that with every like, click, share, and swipe, the app is collecting your personal information and possibly state data. They are now introducing Senate Bill 93, which would restrict the use of TikTok in schools K through 12, prohibiting you from installing, using, or visiting the app on any state-owned device. There's only so much you can do now since everything's technology. It's definitely a concern, but um, at the end of the day, like, I have no information that's important, I feel like, for a, a world power. And Clark says with his year in content creating, he hasn't felt unsafe yet. And it's not too much my focus. I mean, it's a good partner, like, to stay woke about it, but I'm pretty sure it's a safe app. In a statement sent to 13 WMAZ, Senator John Kennedy says in part that without taking action, we risk the Communist Party of China and other foreign adversaries using platforms like TikTok, WeChat, and others to harvest data held up by the state. In Houston County, Megan Western, 13 WMAZ News. About 27 states currently have TikTok bans. In his memo, two state agency heads, the governor cited concerns from FBI Director Chris Christopher Ray that the app could be used to spy on individuals and governments. Federal government shared the same concerns and last year banned the app on federal government owned devices. Let's take a closer look at the ban implemented by the University System of Georgia. University System of Georgia followed Governor Kemp's lead at the end of 2022. They banned TikTok plus social media app WeChat and Telegram on devices owned by the University System of Georgia or its 26 institutions. That includes phones and computers. USG Chancellor Sonny Perdue says students, faculty and staff can still access the sites on their own computers and phones as long as they don't use those devices to access sensitive university information. Many universities have TikTok accounts to court potential students and communicate with athletic fans and current students. There's a growing interest to take on social media services that harvest users' personal information. There are parental controls you and your child can set up if they're using the app. There's a place to link your account and your child's account, and you can restrict content using the digital well-being mode. It's also important to make accounts private. You can control who comments and direct messages the account, and there are a variety of reports you can file and a setting to block accounts.